in today's lesson we will be looking at how to model the uh, this uh, spiral staircase okay the spiral stair okay so this is what we will be looking at in this lesson okay so let's start we have this okay so the first thing we are going to do is we we have to align this one okay and i will hold my control key and align this one as well just like this i will i click and then click on hide just like this just like this okay so after which i will navigate to the plant view okay control p just like this and then i will zoom in just like this okay so after which i will navigate to the editor and select construction line this one just like this okay and then i will click here and then drag it across to all to this extent and then i will click okay just like this then click on modify i will select the line okay this line is a black dash line i can't make it a uh, red so it can be visible okay so I select click on to modify so i can now see the line okay so what the next thing is i will click on this line okay just like this i will then right click then click on copy okay so click this point then take my cursor for upward just like this then i will type 75 okay i want to offset that way click on enter so i have 75 there okay and then i can take my cursor down just like this or i escape select it again just like this right click and then i click on copy again select this point i extend up to this point and then i type 75 again i have this okay so after which the next thing i will do is i'll go to construction line again select this i need a construction line along this axis okay so i will click here okay and extend up to this point then i will just uh, i will just type uh, or I can escape and then go to construction line pick this point and this point so this is the line so if you check the cycle you see the cycle radius is this but this will take us time okay that will take us time so you just click on this line and then uh, you delete this line just like this go to construction line select this point and then you make sure you have a straight line straight line just like this and then you can type 100 enter right so you are having this construction line just like this so you click on this one and then you can uh, click and then copy special linear okay going this way which is the x directions okay you clear it first and then we can move this way which is the x direction 200 and sorry uh, we can move uh, 900 okay I'll just say 800 just like this and then you click on oh, 
copy you have this that's good okay so click on okay all right so after after which we will you go to the concrete tab just like this we want to use snap okay we are trying to form our stair okay we are trying to form our stair so you click on snap okay so once you click on snap like this you zoom it so you can see very well and then you pick this first point so this is not actually picking so you have to make sure you select this particular you select this particular uh, snap point this one okay and then you pick this point okay pick this point pick this one just like this and then you pick this point this point and and this point okay so you can see you have a, a slab okay just like this okay so after which uh, the next thing we are going to do is you go back to the 3d and you will be having something of this kind okay so you go back to the van view again you select this slab select it just like this and then you come to this thickness is 200 so we will change it to uh, 70 or 60 thickness just like this and then click on modify so once you click on modify okay the next thing you will do if you check this point you can just select this slab okay once you select this slab you come to this place you see that the line is not actually taking the shape of this uh, cycle of the stand okay so you just uh, double click at this point uh, at this point you double click here so once you double click at this dot dotted point uh, you will have this okay this corner chamfer okay shape so you select this point and then you select this arc point okay and click on modify so you can see everything has been adjusted okay everything has been adjusted let me see this point two yeah sorry you do undo it's not supposed to be that point yes arc point okay all right so after which if you can select this okay right click and okay before then let me show you what i intended doing okay so if you see this is where this uh this is where the the stairs started okay so i want to offset it i want it to get a little bit upward okay so i can't decide to reduce this thickness again maybe to 40 okay and modify all right so just like this so i want to go push it up a bit from the ground so i select it right click and then i will click on move special just like this and then in the move special dialog i will clear after which i move it in the z direction 300 upward just like this and i click on move so that is it okay so click on okay all right modify and then i go back to the plan view all right so at this plan view at this plan view now i will now go to column okay i'll go to extreme and then i'll use this 
uh, steel color click on it and then i will pick this point to instruct the column okay so the column is instructed just like this i click on uh, clear select the column all right so once i select the columns i will come to this place this button and make it zero Uh, make it zero okay after which the height of this I want it to be uh, 900 okay or I can make it 500 just like this then I want to change this profile of this column okay so I'll click on this point I'll click on this point uh, this one this profile just like this click here all right so in this I we navigate to the uh, circular this one a uh, circular uh, circular yellow section I click here okay in this circular uh, yellow sections I will come to tube okay so this tube I want to have a diameter of diameter of uh, 100 or just say 80 okay so the thickness I want it to be 5 click and then I we apply it okay click on okay so you will notice that if I click on modify this will change okay just like this okay so if I do control P I will see what I've done so far which is this okay all right coming from the ground level okay so what I will do now is this is still too big okay this is too big so I can go back to edit it all right okay so I click on this and make this uh, I make this to be uh, 40 40 and then I apply it modify all right all right so after which I click on modify there so I'll be having this okay all right so I can't I can now move this one select this I right click and then I move special linear okay in the Z direction okay but this time around I want to make it minus and then I'll move it out okay click on okay I supposed to do this before I move it up all right so after which I will I will select this one okay I will select this I'll go to the plan view it is still selected so I right click on it. I click on it, move so I can pick this move it this way 100 okay I type 100 in that direction and then I go enter okay so it is here let me make it 50 okay this way 50 and I enter so I have it there here we go okay all right so after which I cannot navigate to the 3d okay I have selected this all my control key all my control key and then select this one select the this one so this two is selected now I can now right click and then select move special linear okay so I'll remove this it is now that I supposed to now uh, move it up okay trim it just like this okay I'll right, click on to okay I deselect the command 
all right and i go to the plan view control p okay so after which i will select this okay you can see this particular uh, steer run is selected and also the uh, the andre is also selected so after which i will right click and then click on copy a linear at this time i want to rotate this okay so once i select this in the copy rotate uh, copy rotate dialog i'm already prompting to this will pick the origin okay the origin for the rotation so my origin is the center point okay so once i pick that uh, they are asking me my number of uh, number of rotation i'll just say 23 okay and then the uh spacing here yeah? in the z direction the spacing in the z direction i will type 250 spacing and then the angle i will type uh, i will type uh, 30 degree okay just like this so this 300 and uh, this 23 is the rounds okay this rounds supposed to be 23 so what you do is like this height of this tank uh, tank stand this height of the columns here is, is about five meter so if you divide the five meter by this person this person it will be having uh, around uh, uh, about 23 there about okay that's why i have this 23 okay so you click on to copy so once you click on copy copy you will be having something of this kind click on ok and then you go to g 3d so you have something of this kind okay so you can see that uh, it is even uh, more than the height okay because of this offset here all right so it is even more than that height okay so what we do we are having one two three four five okay that is far from what we need so five minus 23 will be having 18 so we need 18 here okay so all you do is you undo okay click on undo so if you click on undo you will be having this again go to the um plan view again all right can see it is still selected okay make sure it is selected right click and then uh, you can just escape this okay then select it again the run and the uh, the and ray okay and then you do cop copy special rotate okay the figures are still there but if you want to still pick it you can pick it to still give you the same thing all right so you put here 18 okay after which click on copy so you still have this okay and then you do control p when you do control p you will have this one okay so this is the spiral still okay the spiral steer so if you just hold this and try to rotate it you will see that uh, this is the spiral steer okay all right so after which uh, the next thing we will have to do is uh we want to add the uh, horizontal and rail so for you to add that you come to steel beam okay like this and then you select this one uh you select this curve beam just like this okay so once you select it you can zoom in be able to pick the top of this one just like this connect it to the top of this one connect it to the top of this one okay then connect it to the top of this one just like this okay so you'll be having something of this kind okay so you uh, escape select it just like this in the dialog you can be able to now change it by selecting the profile okay so in the profile dialog 
you cannot navigate to the uh, navigate to this uh, circular yellow section click on it then you navigate to this tube okay we are still want to st still going to use this tube okay so in this case now I want us to be using a tube of uh, 30 okay just like this 30 and here we'll be having three okay as the plate thickness okay and click on apply it and then okay all right if you modify here you have something like this okay you will have something of this kind okay just like this all right so you can now continue to use this beam so you can't connect all together so you pick this point and this point okay you have to just uh, pan it in a way that uh, you can see it very well okay just like this Alright, so after which you will be having something of this kind, okay? So we have uh, completely modeled the spare last year, okay? Just like this, okay? Alright, so the next thing we will be looking at now is for us to bring back the the uh, part that we hide. We have to click and right click then we do redraw okay just like this so once once we draw we once we redraw we will be having this okay and so we want to have these stairs uh 
this runs along this water tank so we can access this uh, particular part of it the top of the tank okay and so for us to be able to do that now what we need to do is we want to use this last one now to achieve the access of the top of this uh, tank okay and so we will do something of this kind we will have to select this one now okay then select this uh, select the ray just like that okay then what you need to do now is uh, you just have to uh, right click okay and then you click on copy special okay in the copy special you select a linear just like this okay all right so once you select linear we want to move this uh, in the uh, direction z okay we want to move this in this direction g upwards okay 250 okay just like this 250 okay just like this all right and so in the x direction we are moving in the z and the x direction okay so in this x direction we want to change this place to 250 also okay so once you do this 250 yeah okay and then click on copy uh we can also uh, need to uh make it like four or five okay you can make it like four or five but it's, it's this point this place cannot this direction cannot be uniform okay so first click on copy if you click on copy you will have this one okay yeah okay so once you have this you will notice that it okay so you can't undo this okay just like this okay and you can decide to we need to increase this one uh, increase this one to like 500 okay click on copy now no we undo it okay let's make it zero now and see all right so this is good okay so let's undo it we are going to increase this to like uh we're going to increase this to like uh, let's say 300 okay then this point we will do uh, minus uh, minus 100 just like this click on copy then we have this here we go okay so after which this place now we we'll increase it to 600 okay once you increase it to 600 this place you minus 250 okay 250 just like this and then click on to copy and you have this okay so this point now we increase it to uh, we increase this point to uh, let me say uh, 900 now okay because we are copying from this one okay and then this place we will make it uh, we make it this one minus 500 minus 500 and then click on copy you have something like this okay so another 300 plus 900 will be having 120 here yeah? okay just like this and this place now we need to have something like uh, let me say 750 750 let's see we copy it all right okay after which we will add 300 here and then we we'll have uh, 1500 okay which is the height in the z direction then this point 
now we are going to increase it from 750 to 1000 let's see 1000 just like this 1000 you do copy so you can see this is how we we obtain this uh, linear steel movement along this uh, water tank so the next point we have 300 to this we have 1800 just like this and then uh, come to this point uh, we will be having a uh, 1000 uh, 1250 just like this click on to copy so we have this all right so from this point we will choose to go upward okay we will choose to go upwards or we can still go in that same directions okay we can still go in that same directions whereby we may not necessarily increase this one okay and this one may be a uh, constant okay this one may be constant or we will reduce this one okay but this one we will make it uh, because we are copying from this point okay so we can, can, can we can also clear this click on okay all right then we disable the command just like this after which uh, we can't now we can now uh, come to this point so let's select this one just like this and select this uh, the Android stand then right click you do the copy again copy linear again uh, copy special again okay then linear all right so after which you can't now change this place to 300 again just like this okay and then come to this place and then you can make this place uh, let's just see uh, you can't come to this uh, direction this direction uh, y okay and just do maybe 200 just like this let's see what happen and you have this actually it is coming this way okay so we click on undo okay and then we make this place zero zero and then we come to this plant this place and we just make it a uh, 250 or Oh yes 250 let's see okay and copy it so you will have something of this kind okay 250 you have something of this kind we we'll also undo this okay but at this point i want us to have something linear okay something linear all right so for us to do that you can come to this point and then make this five okay or just do three click on to copy so you'll be having something of this kind okay but sorry because of this the thing is not uniform okay you can see some is entering inside of the tank which is not good so you can all do it here and then move this make this one zero and then do copy again you'll be having something like this at this point okay so you can do undo again all right and make this place let's say five okay five like this sorry make this place five and do copy so you will have something like this all right so they say keep duplicates delete duplicates you can delete duplicates okay and then you can do undo you just have to undo it okay because if you check this thing you will notice that this one is not on the tank so what you do do is just to undo okay and make it what four just like this four and then you click on copy it you have something of this kind all right so after which what you now need to do is you have to close this okay and then deselect the command just like this so you'll be having something of this kind so now we want to go on to the top of this okay so for us to go there smoothly i want to select this one i want to select this one if i select this one and then i also hold my control key and select this one all right so i can't right click now and go copy special okay copy special linear all right 
we are still moving at 200 okay or since we are moving at 200 at this uh, 300 in the z direction at this point now this place we will be having uh, minus okay minus let me say minus 100 okay uh, minus 100 okay so I copy it so I will have this one okay sorry supposed to make one it's not supposed to be two undo it's not supposed to be four this place supposed to be one just like this one okay and then click on copy you have something like this and so we want to keep going so you make this one 600 I hope you are understanding what I am doing here okay so at this point I can make it uh, like 250 minus 250 you copy it okay so if you uh, rotate this okay if you rotate this thing just like this you will notice that this one this one is not on the tank okay likewise this two one two three is not on the tank do you see it all right so that is the major reason why we will undo this okay we we'll undo this one okay we we'll also undo this one okay then we'll be having this one sorry undo this just like this okay so what we have to do now is we have to adjust it in a way that is it is being you know attached to the tank okay so we have to reduce it from here okay instead of this 250 we are having uh, we can choose to have it as zero and then we click on to copy and see what happen okay so we undo it all right and then uh, try to uh, make this place 250 instead of minus just do 250 just like this and then copy all right you now see the way it works okay and so you will actually undo it again and then this place make it 300 and copy so now it's been attached to this okay it's been attached to this but what we need to do we undo and then reduce this place to uh, maybe 150 just like this yes so here we go okay so, so if we are supposed to if you are supposed to go up again we do the same thing okay by taking this point 300 to 600 and then this point uh, 150 to 300 just like this and do it again you have this okay it is not actually in line so you would make this one like uh, let me say 400 yeah 400 yeah okay just like this and then you do it okay so you will have something like this if you uh, rotate this you will notice that uh, we are actually on the surface of the tank okay so we keep moving okay by making this place 900 okay and then this point now we will be having something like uh let me say 700 here yeah, okay and then we do copy so if you do copy you have something of this kind okay just like this you notice that this one is off the tank surface so you uh, undo okay once you undo you increase this to 900 okay and then click on this all right so now here we go you have what you actually wanted okay here yeah, okay so after which we need to go one more time 300 again at this point this place will be 1200 just like this and then this 900 will also be 1200 just like this and you click on this 
copy it. So you have something like this. Let's check if this one is actually on the tank or it is not. Okay. So you notice that this one does not actually attach to the surface of the tank. So you do undo. Okay. Alright, so after which you change this place to uh, 120, 130, okay? Just like this, 1300, and then you do it, okay? So, here we go. Alright, so if you uh, zoom it like this, you will see that uh, this is actually attached to this place, okay? Just like this for for this ones, okay. For this ones, you can now clear this and click on OK. For this one, two, three, this you can notice this one, two, three is not attached to the tank. So what you do, what you need to do, just select them like this, okay. You can now delete them off, okay. So once you delete them off, you can't select this point, okay. You just have to select this. Okay, right click and then click on copy special linear just like this and then you go this point 300 okay then this point you can just go like minus uh, 100 okay let's see how it works so you can see it actually in line okay so the next thing you have to just undo it and make it uh, two number okay two number just like this and you copy it okay you see the second one has shift away okay second one has just actually shift away so you do undo again all right and make it one okay just make this one one and then you do copy you increase this point to 600 okay and then increase the air to like 250 okay 250 just like this and then you do copy okay it actually shift away all right so uh what we will do is uh you make uh, undo okay undo it then this point this point you make it minus 100 and copy it again so here we go okay minus 100 so just do copy okay make this place two okay and then go again copy it again all right is now the coming to double this point okay so what you just need to do you undo and then make it one and then click on it so you have something like this okay so click on okay and deselect the command all right so this is how we are able to access the top of this so you can now link the railing okay if you just rotate it in a way that you can see it very well you notice that uh, some of this uh, some of this uh, you notice some of these uh, runs may not actually works okay so now what you need to do is some of these runs we may not have them so you can just select some of these runs like this one okay select like this one you rotate it uh, this way this way you can choose to you can choose to either remove this one delete it okay and then or you undo this place undo this place choose to 
remove this choose to remove this or as well you can just choose to remove I just choose to remove uh, this one mm -hmm. oh yeah uh, shift key control key sorry select this one select this one select this one and then you delete it okay this is taken two two or oh, you do delete here yeah. you do this one okay now you can link this to this one so you just go to beam and then you can't be able to link this one now you can be able to link this one now to this one so if you click on this point if you click on this point you can't be able to link this but this is narrowing this entrance okay this is narrowing this entrance and so for you to be able to do this successfully you can click on this and then you reduce the height of this okay just click on this height the height already is 500 okay it's 500 okay so you just click on the object just like this and then you come to this uh, height there you have this 500 you can just click it and be able to bring it down you can slide this as well sorry this one this is 351 okay so you can make it a uh, 200 okay or 50 in height okay 250 like this okay and then you'll be able to have it coming down to this point okay maybe 200 in height all right just like this so that it will not conflict uh, with the with the walkway okay so you can do the same thing to this one just like this 200 and you have something of this kind okay I think this is the best way to adjust this so it will not conflict uh, it will conf actually conflict the walkway alright for this one So if you notice I have reduced the height of the uh, rail okay so I can now fix the uh, railing okay just like this so I'll just have to zoom it out take this point take this point take this one to insert it uh, just like this although it is now coinciding with this okay it is now coinciding with this which is not supposed okay you undo okay let's take it from this up side all right so if you rotate this 
you will notice that uh, the railing is actually uh, coinciding because the angles of rotation is this not the same anymore just as this one so if you are trying to add a ray this way it is going to uh, Roy Andu is going to pass through inside of this uh, so if you uh, look at this you will notice that uh, at this point at this uh, particular point uh, you will notice that uh, the railing is passing through this okay Right, but this is just for a demonstration how you can't be able to achieve this pattern of a uh, railing. But that will not happen at this uh, top uh, part. Like for instance, if you use this beam, okay, you take this point, okay, you take this one, take this one, okay, you take this one, all right, and you decelerate this okay you will notice that it is also passing through this at this point okay but that can be coordinated okay you can also remove this one remove this and then you click on delete to have a rolling of this kind okay all right so this is how you can't be able to your runs along the tank okay but at this point you should have to extend this this way okay so it will not narrow the uh, walkway all right so this is the lesson okay this is just a demonstration lesson on how you can't be able to achieve this if you check you notice that this distance this one between this space is too much so you can't as well uh, uh, click on it like this and then can be able to copy uh, special linear just like this and you can't uh, as well be able to move this upward maybe you can move it 250 or there about okay so if you click this place uh, just move it just uh, 200 okay you take this point and then you just make this plus zero and then you do copy okay you will have something like this okay you can't also undo and increase this to 300 just like this and you will be able to have something of this kind okay click on okay all right so you deselect the command and okay and then you see to how you can remove one of this uh one of this uh rail okay so at the end of the day you will be having a ray of this kind which is the aim of this lesson okay but the hand ray will be constructed otherwise okay it will be constructed with logistics so as not to coincide with this but actually if you want you don't want this hand ray to coincide with this uh, that simply means the angle you will be having here the angle you will be having here will not be that uniform you can see that this is actually in line with this but if you if you move this one if you move this things this way if this one goes in a little bit okay you will notice that uh, uh, you will not have uh, this uh, uh, differences okay all right so in the next lesson we will actually look at how to resolve some of this issue but this lesson just aim at giving you the ink on how to you know actually move your runs or stairs along this water tank okay uh, so that is it all right so you just have to uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson okay so bye for
for now.